Hey guys, Alexander Williamson here with The Secret History Living Inside of My Aquarium. And uh, I just wanted to show you something funky going on. And it worked really well to breed these fish, but it may not be the best idea in a small tank now that I've tried it in a five gallon tank. And that is, I've been adding vinegar eels uh, straight from the bottle with vinegar in order to lower the pH in the tank. Well, because of that, that is uh, pretty cloudy water. And I don't know if it's a bacterial bloom or something else that has caused this, but I'm assuming it's some sort of uh, fungal slash bacterial, and most likely bacterial, bloom because uh, of that vinegar in the water. There's simply too much. But we have a ton, uh, and by ton I mean I counted a good, let's see here, let me try to cover up the glare for you guys, but I counted uh, a good number of babies in here, and I'm going to move them out of here and just try to, uh, try to figure out a different setup for them. See, here we go, here, here's the babies, um, and a minute ago before I scared them all, there were a good two dozen hanging out at the top around the tank in different areas and uh, obviously it's it's foggy it's hard to see them but I'm gonna yank them out of there I just don't think it's good for their health and uh, I'm gonna move them over into this tank which has shrimp in it and with such small size they'll be able to then eat the other critters living in the shrimp tank and hopefully do okay um, they will then face an age where they start eating the actual baby shrimp, but hopefully, hopefully, uh, I can spot them by that stage and start pulling them out. However, these fish, these, uh, these Maytangensis, uh, Daniels are definitely endemic to the Shan region and Lake Inlay area. And I would definitely rather have some more of those than the next generation of little blue shrimp. If if I had to choose, I've got shrimp, blue shrimp in several places. And uh, I'd rather lose a few babies of those guys, of these guys, than to uh, lose this spawn of, of the other shrimp. Sorry about the shaky photography. I am getting a new uh, gimbal or a gimbal period soon, so that will be nice and useful. And uh, yeah, so you can see there, there's some babies swimming around. And then up in this tank, this is where the adults are. So they're going to grow up to look like uh, this gal right here. Well, hard to see her. Uh, let's see, this gal coming in, she is a bluish hue. Let's get a better shot of her just so you can see. There she is. So this is what they will look like when they grow up. But until then, I got to get them to grow up. So this apple juice looking water, it does have tannins in it, but I think the vinegar may have soured my experiment. Uh, I've been using vinegar without cleaning it in larger tanks, and that hasn't been a problem. And I think the, that the bacteria and everything just takes care of it but it is not able to in this five gallon tank. And I put quite a bit in here in the process of uh, hatching these fish. So that is the newest update. I just wanted to keep you guys posted and I wanted to keep it transparent uh, what was going on. So I'm probably gonna drain this tank most of the way and uh, reset it again, put some new leaves in it, and then try again with some new fish. So. All right, guys, that's all uh, I'm going to do. Uh, it's probably going to be boring. You guys wouldn't care to watch me scoop out teeny fish and move them back and forth. So, um, yeah. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later. Take care. Like, subscribe if you want to figure out uh, what happens next. If you have an idea of what is going on here, please uh, leave a comment if you've seen this happen before. I've seen these, like, white foggy blooms before a lot in fish keeping of uh, bacterial but uh it's interesting that i did this with the um with the vinegar and it's definitely starting to look like vinegar 
And unless the vinegar eels have taken over the water that quickly, which I know they haven't, uh, I need to get these little, little wigglers out of here. All right, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.